Hello fellow repair technicians around the world, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and in today's video I'm gonna talk to you about the new GC DFU box. I woke up the day before yesterday and when I opened my Facebook I found few posts talking about the ability of reprogramming the NAND flash with USB cable. Fortunately they did it in China. There is three new boxes one from GC and uh, one from IB box and one from WL. Of course if you have been in this field you know the three brands I talked about but I will speak today about uh, one only which is GC DFU box or GC new DFU box because they have an older version uh, or older box called the few box version 1 and version 2 but the one I'm talking about today is totally new box and totally different concept than the older ones I don't know why they call it the if you box when they have already a product name the if you box but this is not our problem here new the if you box is able to reprogram the NAND chips and unlock Wi-Fi from the chips without removing it and it will make you able to unlock iPad iCloud without removing the NAND chip so the device is communicating with the iPad or iPhone by USB and it's able to access the underlying data without removing the NAND from its place so I know you have a lot of questions in mind how that work how much is it is it worth to buy? All these questions, I will try to give you my feedback on it and I will explain how that box work and what it's able to do and what it doesn't. So you can have a clear mind when you deciding if you wanna buy it or no. By the way, this video is not sponsored by any of those three companies. I just won't mention the WL and IB box because IB box has a very bad repetition in the market before they made projects and the support is sucks and the project doesn't last for a long time after like one year the project is gone finished and the team disappear. WL also is known by the difficulty and the bad support they has. Everybody has the WL is complaining. I don't know what's going on with them now. I stopped buying WL products since long time because I buy products, premium products. This is not cheap products. I buy it to make my life easier, not to complicate it. I stick with GC for a long time and I started to have some comments on their work. I will leave it till the end of this video. So make sure you stick with me till the end of the video and don't skip parts of it. First question you may ask, is this product is available in the market? This product has been launched or announced two days ago and it's still not available in the market for purchase and they said they have only 500 units and it's limited stock this is the first patch and you have to book or pre-order your box if you want to get one from the first patch they will launch second question what is the supported models the supported models is a7 CPU, A8, A9, A10, A11, till A11 only, which means iPhone 5S till iPhone X, and from iPad mini 2 till iPad Pro second generation 12.9 inch. They said this is the current supported models and in the future they will be updating the list of models and you will be able to update your device through Wi-Fi Hopefully. So why exactly you will need this device? If you wanna reprogram the NAND without removing it, you will be able by using this device. If you want to unlock iCloud for iPad, you will be able by this device. If you wanna change Wi-Fi and you don't want to remove the NAND flash, you will be able to do so. How much does it cost? 
It cost $460, that's the retail price, without shipping, without anything. And this is not the only cost you will pay. You have to pay one and a half dollar for each process you will do on it. So you have to refill the box with credit. When you buy a new box, you will get $30 credit for free. And then you can buy credits from GC team or the other teams. They said that the amount you pay to change the data or unlock iCloud for iPad, it's paid once, so you don't need to pay again each time you do the process. It's only once for one device. Like you can repeat the process many times, I don't know why you would do that. If you have an iPad and you did the iCloud unlocking and this iPad came to you later on, you will be able to unlock it again without a new payment or no, that's not clear. So what is my thoughts about this device and does it worth to buy? I do iCloud unlocking. It's gonna save me time if I used it to unlock iCloud for iPad. Sometimes I reject devices because the screen has little scratch or little crack like iPad mini 4 or iPad Air 2 or iPad Pro. The touch and the screen is together. Once I will open this uh, screen, I will not be able to return it back. That small crack may get bigger and the touch may stop working so using a device like that can help me to unlock those devices and not reject them anymore and not adding extra cost to the customer by telling him that there is a risk that the screen may get broken and we need also to charge you for screen in case it got broken but if the ipad is 4G or 3G, those models need a hardware modification to convert it to Wi-Fi. Normally we need to make a jumper or to remove a resistor and that's required to open the device. Some of the 3G or 4G models, we have to change the Wi-Fi chip in the process of the iCloud unlocking, like iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro, all the iPad Pro, if it's 4G and I'm doing iCloud unlocking, I have to replace the Wi-Fi chip because I am converting the device from 4G to Wi-Fi. So I need to install the Wi-Fi chip, which is belong to the Wi-Fi iPad. So if you get one of those devices, you will have to open the device anyway. Also to change Wi-Fi IC for iPhone, like 6s and above if you want to change wi-fi ic you have to remove the nand chip put it in a programmer and unlock wi-fi and then put the nand back put the new or used chip of wi-fi back to the board if i'm able to remove the wi-fi chip and i'm able to put it back why would i not be able to remove the nand chip I don't see that box useful in that matter. And of course, if the NAND chip itself is dead or damaged, you will have to remove it anyway. That box will not be able to revive the dead NAND chip. That NAND chip has to be removed. Most of the cases, that box is not helpful. In some cases, like I mentioned, if iPad came to me with a crack in a screen, that would be very helpful. The price is uh, like 460 and the shipping and everything, it's about 550, 600 dollars. It's not cheap price. And each process I have to pay one and a half dollar. Forget it, it's nothing. But I don't like where this going. The three teams release three boxes in the same time. That means that they planned this ahead. I'm okay for buying tools if it will last with me, but GC did something I am very annoyed with. They released the P8 programmer and then 
after a very very short time they released the P11 programmer and the P11 programmer is same price like the B8 but it can support more models at the beginning they said you will use it with credits then they did it for free I don't like short time projects I don't like to waste my money my hard earned money on projects that I know it will die very soon I'm also worried that some of the people who are able to purchase this box can offer their services for cheaper prices and this cheaper prices will not be fair to other people who don't own it imagine if i have it and i unlock icloud and i provide this service for very cheap price and the shop near me he is doing the same but he don't own this box and he is doing it by hand and that takes him time and he cannot compete with me for this cheap price that would not be fair to him so you may tell me everyone should buy this box what I say if we kept buying projects like this every few months they will release a new project and you will be in a circle where you have to pay and pay and pay I'm not saying that don't buy this box I'm sharing my thoughts with you, but I'm not happy where this is going. I hope this video was useful for you and helped you to make a decision. Till then, my work here is done and I'll see you next time.